Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have so much to get through on this video. I put my hair up. It's gonna be a very long video. This is another Kay's video. Um, I went back into her website and I, after I had gotten a bunch of her like springy floral fresher scents, I thought up a bunch of customs and I got a bunch more cups. Um, and then they sent me a ton of samples. <laughs> so this is gonna be really long. Um, I'm not going to go through every scent def um, like definition notes, every single one with you guys. I'm just going to tell you how they smell. If I did that, this would be much longer and we just do not have time for that. So I have five customs, a ton of samples and a ton of cups here. So I'm just going to kind of go through them quickly. Um, they did say that some of these, let's see, some of the gray, let's see, your samples are some of our new scents. So they're coming out with some new oils and a lot, a few of the vendors are coming out with these new sugar scents, like gold sugar, steel sugar, black sugar, and it looks like they are as well. So this first one in this little rosette is steel sugar. Um, and this is kind of a masculine, like a sweetened masculine, almost like body product kind of scent. Um, it's very like woodsy and fresh. My children are going to give me a stroke today. Um, anyway, this, this one is very nice. I've had this from another vendor too. And I really, I like this oil. Okay. I like black sugar a lot better than the steel sugar. Um, but this is a very woodsy, fresh, masculine scent. Next one up, I've sniffed this one. And I really like it. It's called sunflower. Okay. Open the door carefully and pick it up. And this smells so good. I have been so into these springy floral scents before. This, I've smelled this before. I, I need to figure out where this oil is coming from because I've smelled this before. This is just a very beautiful, rich, feminine, floral, like creamy, rich, opulent sunshine. It's beautiful. So sunflower, I'll definitely be getting more of that one in the future. The next one is gold sugar. I really like this one. I've had this from another vendor. This is like a citrusy sweet. So it has like creme brulee and mandarin and a couple, like it's very much a creamy, sweetened, but still almost body care-ish citrus. It's very pretty for a, like a home scent, but also for body care. Very nice. I liked, I liked gold sugar a lot. Oh, next, black sugar. <laughs> So this one is more of like a resinous, deeper, um, earthy sugar. And that's probably why I like it so much. It's very earthy and just like cozy resinous. I think it's great for a nighttime blend period, but especially when it's like really cold outside, this just feels very special. Black sugar is very special to me. Um, Stargazer Lily, excuse me. I'm not sure if this one's a new one. Uh, but I don't think I ever had it from her either. This is a very, very, very much a spring floral. <laughs> it's in one of those little pretty rosettes again. Very like petal, spring dewy petal floral scent, but not rose or gardenia or anything like that. Um, the next sample is clover and aloe, which I'm pretty sure they've had before. Um, this is a Bath and Body Works type. And it's very much that green, grassy, dewy, cool air, fresh scent. I love, I love clover and aloe. Um, it's really beautiful. I like it by itself, but it's nice, very nice and blends too, to bring anything more of like a subtle green freshness to it. And then I love this mold so much. Pine cones and lime. It's like this really pretty, like succulent mold. Ooh, interest, interesting. Interesting. Huh. I would never think to put pine cones and lime together. That's good. I'd say, wow, interesting. Like that could be a fall, that could be any time of year scent. That very much reminds me of almost like a succulent. Interesting, pine cones and lime together. And the last sample is blueberry thyme in this little bunt. I'm not a blueberry fan, just FYI. Um, but that is interesting. I don't think I'd purchase this one, but I'm happy to have it. And so I love herbaceous blends and this is pretty 50, 50 on the time and that blueberry and the blueberry is not a sweet blueberry. That is interesting. I'm gonna have to look more into that one. I think a lot of people will like this. Hmm. Very interesting. 
Okay, let me get into my cups real quick. Um, I ordered blackberry sage. I think I ordered two ounce, but she replaced it with two one ounces, which she will do, and that's totally fine. It's the same amount of wax. Um, I've had this one before, and I like it very much. It's, once again, an herbaceous, fruity scent. Um, so it's kind of a more matured blackberry. But her blackberry that she does is so um, deep, rich, and juicy. I enjoy it very much. Um, this is a very, very nice oil um, and I very much enjoy it. Um, once again, um, as I melt, I put on my Instagram at Danny Loves Wax how things throw, how they smell, how they change on warm, all that kind of stuff. So go ahead and follow me there if you want to hear how these are on warm. Um, a new one to me, uh, I've had most of her laundry blends, but I hadn't had this one before. This is her Tide Ultra. Um, I like this a lot. It does smell kind of light on cold. Oh man, that smells so good. Um, it's a very like refreshing, non-powdery, uh, laundry. It's almost aquatic, almost. It's more of a fresh air kind of one, but it smells very light. So I'm going to see how it is on warm. But if you're wanting a laundry scent that isn't that powder, because sometimes like powdery laundry scents can almost get stuck in my throat as I'm smelling them. This is not one. And maybe if it's lighter, you could tolerate it as a lighter laundry scent. And then I grabbed, oh, did I grab three of these? I think I grabbed three of these. Um, Enter Sandman. This is one of my favorite nighttime blends from her. I've had so much of this. Oh, it's so good. It's a peppermint lavender blend that is so strong and so like nose clearing and amazing. Um, I was reminded of it because I believe it was Danny, Danny Divinations, I believe on Instagram posted about, I think it was her. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, posted about how much she loved it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that scent. And I am also so in love with it. So let me grab some more. Yes, I grabbed three. I'm like digging through my box here. So I grabbed three, two ounces of it. You guys, this is one of the best nighttime blends in the vendor world. If you like mint and lavender, perfect, perfect. And a perfect name for it. Okay. Another one that is new to me, English garden. Once again, I've been obsessed with these like <clears throat> springy florals and this, oh, this is a perfect spring floral. This perfect name, English garden. This smells like something was like in the morning that there's dew all over it. It's cool air. There's petals everywhere, greens everywhere. Oh, wow. I smell a new custom coming if you want a spring floral that will just cool everything down and make it feel like you are literally outside in the wet dew, English garden. That's amazing. Um, next up is Cactus Blossom. This is the Bath and Body Works type. Um, for some reason, like when I'm at Bath and Body Works and I smell Cactus Blossom, I don't enjoy it much, but this smells so good. It makes me want to give the body care another shot because it smells so good. It smells creamy and fresh and feminine and just like, it's almost like coconutty creamy, like a little bit, but also like a very much fresh air dewy kind of scent too. Like I'm, I'm going to have to retry this uh, body care because of that. The next one is Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle from like the Coco Chanel. And it does smell like it. I wear the, um, Oh, not this one. This is the Coco Mademoiselle. I wear the younger one that has the more orange blossom and stuff in it. So this one's the more mature kind of powdery florally one. It smells good. Um, I don't know if I'd get this one again, but it it's a very floral, powdery, feminine kind of middle-aged woman scent. Um, but it is nice, just not one I think I'd get again. This one is Smell of Weather Turning. This is a lush type. And I just... The children, Shh. quiet, please. They're arguing, of course, because why wouldn't we argue every second of the day? Um, this, I just wanted to smell this one and, and experience it. This it smells almost like minty and earthy and fresh air, but there's something deep in it too, like minty, earthy, fresh. That's nice. This is one I don't think I, I think this would get lost in a blend. 
but it's very nice on its own. I'm going to have to give that one a melt. It doesn't smell super heavy or strong on cold, but I'm going to have to, I'll have to give it a try. Now this one, um, I've been wanting to try this forever and I just always keep forgetting to grab it. I think, um, this Nicole Perry on, um, Instagram and, um, is she on Instagram love of smells or something like that? But on uh, YouTube, she's Nicole Perry. She's lives in Australia and she's talked about this one before it's arugula or she calls it Aragula, I think with her, um, how she's, how she says it. Um, and I love arugula on, in food. And now I really like it in wax too. It actually, to me, smells very similar to the clover and aloe type from Bath and Body Works, but, um, like a richer greenness to it. More opulent. Um, I would definitely get this again. It smells like it's going to be strong and almost like a bitey green, but aquatic too. It's like bitey and aquatic. This would be great in a custom. That is really, really green and fresh and nice. <clears throat> Got a piece of wax in my throat. Okay, I grabbed a couple of these. I think just two. Because I had... Oh. I got this in my last um, haul, turquoise, and I really enjoyed it. I will say, though, I have melted this since. It is really strong. Um, like, next time, these two ounce, I'm going to cut it into three or four pieces. Last time, I cut it into two and just put it into two separate warmers. I really like this. This is, like, perfect for spring or summer heat. It's almost perfumey. It's very fresh, somewhat earthy. It smells like the desert after a rain, almost. Um, but be careful with how much this is like a 10 out of 10. Um, so these two, two ounces are going to last me a while. Cause this is going to be like eight melts probably for me. This is beautiful, but just be careful. I'm warning you. It's very strong, but very just, um, like high end spa, like desert spa kind of scent. Um, you'll have to smell it to understand. Very nice. I grabbed a couple more lemon lavenders because or lavender lemons because i'm obsessed with this scent i have melted so much of it um oh gosh this is like a lemon peel and a herbal lavender this cleans your air on cleaning day oh this is beautiful um i it could be good in a blend but man it's amazing by itself so and then this one is cashmere black this is the dkny or donna karen dupe I've had this in a perfume sample before and it's a very, like one of the deepest, darkest perfumes I've ever smelled in my life. And it has a crazy lasting time. Oh, this is good. I should have put blackberry frankincense with this. That would have been beautiful. Just those two together. Earthy deep. It's not even perfumey. It's like, gosh, that is sexy. Wow. That's beautiful. If you like really deep, dark, almost body care, but not quite. This is like an earthy, resinous, gorgeousness, cashmere black. Wow. That's wow. Okay. One I haven't tried from her is Stormy Night. And I just wanted to try it. Give it a try. And this is very floral. With like a deep, almost masculine aquaticness. So it comes off as unisex because it's a, like a feminine floral with a very deep aquatic masculine. This one's going to be real strong. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to cut this into lots of pieces. I'd say overall, this comes off as a floral. Um, like, yeah, like deep midnight floral. <laughs> That's very nice too. I got two um, flower cactus, flowering cactus and jade. I wanted to give this one a try. Ooh, yes. Very green, very green. This is the greenest out of all of these so far. And very fresh, almost body care-esque, almost. That will wake you right up. That is like summer sunshine. You're watering your grass, maybe. That is a very sunshiny, green, dewy scent. Like that. Okay, and I grabbed this one because it's called Heaven. And I think I grabbed it because I, for some reason in my head, I thought this was the dupe of that Gap Heaven scent from when I was like in a middle school. 
if it is, it's not triggering the memory receptors. This smells like a powdery, fr fruity floral. So I'm, it could tr be attempting to be that. It smells good. There's definitely a baby powder in this. So it smells good, but it's like a baby powder laid over like a feminine fruity floral body care. Um, Emerald Agave. Did I grab two of these? I did. Or at least one two ounce that she put the replaced with one ounces. So I, this is my new love that I found from Kay's. Beautiful, super strong. Once again, I know I'm saying this a lot, but once again, it's almost body care-esque. But the name of this Emerald Agave, like imagine if you have spent time in the desert. I have a lot. Once again, I'm from Tucson for the most part, but I grew up in California too. But just imagine in, in landscape in the desert, there's a lot of stone. Imagine like you're, it's early in the morning and those stones are still cold from the nighttime but you're smelling the desert waking up and maybe there's a pool like next door and you're smelling that like chlorine and wet a little bit, but there's cacti and there's the desert sand and there's maybe it rained last night a little bit. It just really brings me back to the Sonoran desert and it's just amazing. So I love it. I, the Sonoran Desert will forever be the most beautiful thing to me. So, um, he Heavenly Honeysuckle, I got this one in my last haul. And so I wanted to get it again because I loved it so much. This is very much, it almost is gardenia E. So if you don't like gardenia, I wouldn't suggest it. But the Honeysuckle in this is so sweet. It's a sweet floral, very feminine, just creamy, beautiful, um, it's supposed to be somewhat of the dupe of the um, a Kim Kardashian perfume that she wore for her wedding. This is gorgeous. I really like that one. Um, and then Amber Noir. I picked this one up because I'd never smelled it before from her. And it's, it is like a woodsy amber. Yeah, this is very sexy too. This would be very nice in a, in a blend. This would be good with that cashmere black as well. Like if I did cashmere black, amber noir, and like blackberry frankincense together, baby making scent, I'm telling you right now. Wow. That's very nice. I like that a lot. Okay. And then I think this was sent to me as a sample because, oh, oh, ah, you spilled out. Um, Because I didn't order this one. This is Truman Lake Fun. This one is interesting to me. A lot of other people get it and they... I think it smells like aquatic, like a lake. At one point it did to me too, but now I don't know. This more smells like earthy, almost blue sugary to me with like a touch of greenness to it. It's okay. A ton of other people love it. So my nose I think is not picking up everything that is in it, if that makes sense. Cause I'm not smelling what a lot of other people smell in it. So many people are obsessed with it. So please try it for yourself. Um, but it is like an outdoorsy kind of green scent with blue sugar in it almost to me. I found two more samples they sent me. I'm sorry. Lost Cherry. This is the Tom Ford perfume type. Mm. Hmm. I had this from another vendor as a sample and I didn't like it, but I like this one. This one, it picks up on the perfumey part of it, not just the cherry part. Hmm. Not one I get a ton of, but... I like that. I like the perfumey part behind it. And then another sample they sent me, because I don't think I ordered this one, is a love of mine, this oil. Um, tumbleweed and terracotta. You can probably guess why. Once again, if there is anything, any oil that smells like the hot desert wind and the dust that it blows around and just the smell of the baking terracotta tiles that are on everybody's homes. It's this oil. Um, I remember the first time I smelled this oil, like I almost teared up being homesick because it smells so much like it. Um, it's amazing. If you have a love of the desert or like earthy, dry, baked terracotta, try this oil out. It's amazing. Okay, to next now to my um, customs. So this first one is called Bumbastic Beach. 
and I put orange blossom, bum bum cream type, and Swedish dream salt. Swedish dream salt to my nose is a very aquatic spa type scent. Orange blossom, we all know this is like a true orange blossom scent. And then um, bum bum beach, we all know bum bum type. So what I'm getting from this first is the orange blossom. Ugh, it's so good. It just awakens the senses. It smells like spring and summer. So I'm mostly getting orange blossom. And then a touch of that creamy, caramelly, pistachio, bum bum. I'm not getting much Swedish dream salt out of here, but we'll see. I'm going to let it cure for a little bit. These are all newly poured. And we'll see. But I thought that those together would just make a great, like, summer fresh bombastic beach. Orange blossom, bum bum, and Swedish dream salt. So excited to melt that one. Um, next up, I just thought this would, I don't know why I was driving to work one morning and I was like, I kind of want a scent that smells like if you were having like a party during the summer and I called it summer baby. And this is her Malibu rum cupcakes oil, which is delicious. Lemon pound cake and honeyed pineapple. So I thought like if you, I don't know if you guys have, but I love grilled pineapple if you've had it or made it. Um, and then I thought about like lemon cake and like Malibu rum cupcakes, like Malibu rum and cupcakes. And this is so good. Carla and Connie did such a good job on this one. I smell it all. I smell honeyed pineapple. I smell lemon pound cake. Those cupcakes. This is so good. Carla, you did an amazing job. This smells like a party in the summer by the freaking pool. Thank you so much for that one. Um, next, I I didn't really know what to name this one. I just have like three favorite Blackberry oils from her and I just wanted to put them all together. So I called it Blackberry Earth. And this is her Blackberry Frankincense, which is probably my favorite out of all these oils. Blackberry Sugared Violets and her Black Currant Absinthe. I wanted to put something in there. Black Currant Absinthe is one of like the deepest oils ever. Woo, it's good. <laughs> I'm getting the Blackberry uh, Black Currant Absinthe the strongest. It's one of the strongest oils in the vendor world. And then I'm getting a touch of the blackberry fragrance scents. And then the blackberry sugared violets is like a light feminine body care almost scent. So the black current absent is like the base of it. And then the frankincense kind of sits in the middle. And then that violet sits on the top. Just beautiful. Um, it's resinous. It's earthy. It's fresh from that blackberry violet. It's sexy it's fruity it's a little bit sweet i'm very happy with it okay something a little bit different this one's called paulo at the library so um it's it's her paulo santo which she has that very woody incensey paulo santo yacht club which is a very like fresh men's almost cologne very aquatic very ocean breeze kind of scent and her prince albert which is of my favorite tobacco blend oil that she has. So Paulo at the library. Um, to me, tobacco scents can ver smell very library-ish for some reason. Um, somehow my brain connects those together. So her Prince Albert, Paulo Santo, and Yacht Club is Paulo at the library. And this... <laughs> ooh. I'm not getting much Yacht Club, but we'll wait and see on Warm. But that's okay. I'm really getting that Prince Albert, which if you're looking, I have searched high and low for tobacco scents that I really love. And her Prince Albert is my number one. And her Palo Santo is just amazing. So I'm mostly getting Prince Albert here with just a little bit of that Palo Santo. Yacht Club is a strong oil on its own, but next to the two others, it could easily get lost. But we'll see on Warm. Um how that goes. I wanted just a touch of freshness brought to that tobacco in Palo Santo. So I thought the Yacht Club would go well with it, but we'll see how it goes. This is just a very earthy, masculine, emerging nurse. Okay. And my last custom, this one, I fell in love with her raindrops scent, um, that I got in my last haul. It just is one of the most gorgeous spring rain dew floral scents and her grapefruit and mangosteen oil. You guys, you must try that by itself. And then once again, I already told you guys, I fell in love with her heavenly honeysuckle. So this one I called sprung, like spring has sprung or just sprung. 
And it's her raindrops, grapefruit and mangosteen, and heavenly honeysuckle. So I kind of got something in every category here. Oh, yes. This is exactly what I wanted. Wow. Very springy, bright, but juicy from that grapefruit mangosteen. Oh, that is an absolute winner. Sprung. Wow, she, Carla, whoa. Great job. Carly, Carla and Connie, they do them together. So those are my customs. I have never done this many customs with Carla all at once, um, but I had to after I got all those cups last time. Um, I had to put some together and see how it went. And I'm excited to do these on, or, you know, melt these on warm and see how they go. Um, I hope you guys were excited talking through these with me uh, as, ex as exciting as it was to make them. So anyway, have a good day, you guys. I have one more haul for you guys today. Stay well. We'll see you later.